Hey guys, Arcade Adam, back with another video. And this time, I'm upgrading my aim track light guns. Uh, I got this kit off of arcadeguns.com, uh, and also got some extra light bars that I'm experimenting with. Planning on updating my cabinet someday to a much larger cabinet, maybe a 50 inch screen, something like that. And you need these uh, larger light bars to go with these aim track guns. Right now, I just have the standard encased uh, small one that it comes with but uh, I got two of them I got the extreme edition and I got the regular one not sure what which one I'm gonna use they both use micro USB one uses wider angle field uh, infrared LEDs but I'll do some more testing on that just wanted to show them off real quick uh, before I get to the upgrade so the upgrade is uh, replacing the solenoid spring and uh, washer in a, a a plastic brace basically that goes for the goes into the solenoid uh, to keep it from rattling around I don't know about you guys but my guns um, feel like they've got a rock inside them when you shake them around they kind of rattle a bit and move around they feel just kind of awful they, they're not solid they don't feel solid there's there's something loose inside of them and basically that's the solenoid things are heavy and it just wasn't designed to sit in there without any support in my opinion so ArcadeGuns.com agreed with me. They made a kit. It's very, very, very cheap. I think it was six or eight bucks, something like that. Um, all it is is a piece of 3D printed plastic and these upgrade springs. So, but it does a good job. You'll see at the end of this video uh, that I think it does a really, really nice job of cleaning these guns up so they don't feel too cheap. As you can see, it's just a molded plastic shell on the inside after you remove the screws. Uh, and that blue taped part with the metal surround, that's your solenoid. So it moves that piston in and out, and you can see it's just kind of loose friction fit in there. And when you shake those guns, that's what's rattling around in there. Is this thing is the heaviest part of the gun, and it just kind of rests on two little plastic supports that you can see in there. It's not held in with anything. So what this kit does is just add a extra brace in there and surrounds it with a piece of 3D printed plastic. Um, and you'll see in a second when I pick up that uh, that kit. The other thing that we're going to replace is the spring itself. And that'll apply more force to the piston as it comes in and out. And it makes the gun feel amazing. Like the amount of recoil you get out of just replacing the spring is fantastic. Um, if you want to skip to the end of the video, uh, at the 10 minute mark I have sound comparisons. It's hard to translate that in real life. The actual, because I, I left my other arcade gun, I've got an A to B comparison. I've got two aim track guns. The blue one is stock, and the red one, as you see here, is the one I'm upgrading. And I don't know if the sound comes through on the video too well. Like, there's a slight difference in tone, but the feel is amazing. And you'll see in the video, it actually shakes the camera. And I, as I was editing this, I was wondering, I was like, how the heck is the camera shaking? I'm not resting my hand on the tripod or anything. And I figured it out, I think is the cord for the gun that was plugged into the uh, cabinet was still touching the tripod and the, that was enough for the gun to shake so violently it shook the cord which shook the tripod and shook the camera so yeah the feel is amazing it's a big difference it's like a 10x magnitude increase in force just by replacing the spring uh, but we'll get to that later in the video right now i'm trying to figure out uh, what's going on with this uh, brace as you see the instructions were a little basic and <laughs> look uh, Kind of back of the napkin type instructions, but like I said, it's a cheap kit. It does what it's supposed to do um, This is a good test fit. It's not going anywhere any now as you can see there's no movement at all um, But now I've got to pull it back out of part again because it's time to put the spring in very classy instructions. That's got to be MS Paint. <laughs> so here we go. Let's bring out this bracket again one more time. Um, as you can see, it's it's really in there. I didn't want to. I felt like I was going to break it a little bit because it was so tight around that uh, uh, plastic uh, screw surround. It was had a little bit of trouble coming out. Um, fitting that plastic shroud I will say that you want to go from the back side. There's the uh, wires leading to the solenoid are not centered on the top there. Um, so you want to kind of come in from the back side because the plastic should be in the exact middle of the solenoid So that's something to hit against and I'll uh, I'll show you guys that again when I put it back together. I'll point it out. So 
upgraded spring goes back on first. And then there's a flat side to the washer. You know, most washers have like a rounded edge and a flat edge. You want to make sure that flat edge is pointed towards the solenoid. As I'm pointing out there, you can throw that back in there. Test fit. Oh, yep. See, yeah, that spring's just a little bit more <laughs> tight than the other one. It was, it's a big upgrade in terms of feel anyway. Put this back together. So you see how I go from the back side because that black wire is closer to the camera than it is to the reverse side. So you want to come in from the back so you don't pinch those wires and get that thing as centered as possible. There's actually two raised edges on the metal uh, housing that keep this thing in place. You can kind of see it's pinched on either side. It's a good design. It's very basic, but it works really, really well. Um, and that solenoid just hits super hard now against that piece of plastic. Um, if I was printing that thing, I don't know if there's more space, but I think I would add a little bit more support. We'll see how well they hold up. All right, and now it's just time to manage our wires and uh, do some reassembly. Make sure we get that over the uh, screw support. Get those little wires out of the way at the top so we don't pinch them when we put this thing back together. I'm just trying to get the best friction fit in there. And, um, put the wires on the underside and try to get them out of the way. So th those two sets kind of go above that screw mount and then these two will tuck below. And you'll see I kind of have to use the screwdriver to get them out of the way because they're sticking up and I don't want to pinch them. They're kind of small. So repairing those would be rather annoying. Yeah, that solenoid was just, it felt so much better. It's its not moving around at all. Um, that's another thing. You see the front, that PCB, how it's kind of bouncing around there? There's a kind of a two-step fit process to that where it, there's a slot that it slots into. And mine was actually out, like, you know, probably from shaking it and playing the game so long with this thing. I've, I've had these guns for maybe two years now. Um, so make sure if you ever take these things apart that you slot the thing back in its exact spot. There's a, a better fit uh, that it kind of guides down into. And just double check that when you open them up. So I'm putting the shell back on for the first time. Get a fitment check. And immediately when you pick up the gun, even without the screws in it, you can tell. Like it's just, everything just feels more solid. It's not moving around on the inside anymore. Open up one more time, make sure everything's still in the right spot. Yeah, those wires are still there. See, that's still moved around on me, so I've, I kind of have to fight that a little bit. And that lens also uh, separated on the other half, so I'm going to put it on the bottom half. Just make sure that's in the right spot. The uh, PCV behind that lens and the angle of that sensor is what allows the mouse cursor to have the best tracking on the screen. So if you ever have tracking problems where your cursor always seems like it's to the left or the right and even after calibration you can't dial it in, it's probably because that sensor is not where it should be. So you just, I don't know, what is it, eight or nine screws, pop open these guns and you can start messing with it. You know, as long as you're not unplugging anything, you're not really risking damaging too much, so uh, I wouldn't worry about it. All right, now time for some final assembly. Throw these screws back in. Fast forward a little bit here. I will say that um, these are plastic uh, self-threading screws. I don't know if you guys build your own computers, but like case fan screws. So if you kind of wrench on them too hard, you can strip them. So be careful. You want to make sure your your gun is kind of squeezed together before you start really wrenching down on these things. So I put three back in and I kind of gave it the shake test and man, did it feel good. Buttons were good. You know, those front buttons, you know, shake. And you'll hear this in my audio test in a second. I'll cut the music. The only thing that makes noise anymore are those two front buttons bouncing around. Um, but let's go ahead and toss the rest of these screws back in and I'll cut the audio and you guys can take a listen. And like I said, look for the camera shake. Like that's, that's the biggest thing for me after reviewing this footage. Like, the red gun shakes the camera now. It's it's impressive. <laughs> and the blue one, it sounds similar. Like there's a definite change in tone, but it's not too obvious. 
Um, but just look for the camera shake and you can definitely tell like this, this gun's got real recoil now. It's fantastic. All right, we got it back together. Now let's go see if it works. Okay, red gun first. This is the upgraded gun. I didn't bother with calibration. It's a little off, but I'll uh, be quiet now so you can hear the tones of this thing's making. Look at, look at the camera shake. Okay, now here's the unmodified gun. This is stock, the blue one. All right, back to the upgraded one, I think. Do both at the same time. Blue, red. Blue again, not modified. Now, shake test. So you can hear the solenoid bouncing around. And then not so much anymore on the red one. I don't know, minor thing, but it always bugged me. But totally worth the 15 bucks shipped for this kit. Look at the camera shake. It's fantastic. All right, guys, that's about it. Let me know if you got any questions. I'll put the link in the description for arcade guns. You know, not sponsored. I bought this kit like a year ago, and I never bothered to put it in. Just thought I'd throw it in to show you guys. Oh, this is my holsters. I've got the holsters on the back of the arcade, and I'll show you in a second, you know, what that looks like. But I don't like them sticking out, so I put mine on the back like that. They're out of sight, you know, out of the way. The cords don't get in the way. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you got any questions.